Hi guys, so today I have some tips on how to achieve the perfect blonde using the new Agora Royal High Lifts on virgin hair. Now depending on the base that you are working on and the desired result will depend on the technique that you will use. I'm going to imagine that my client is a depth six and I want maximum lift and deposit of tone. So for me, the very best way to create a perfect blonde is to do the virgin application using a back-to-back -back foil technique. So here we are starting this back-to-back -back classic foil technique. I'm applying plenty of color and I'm just leaving out the roots. It is a false economy not to use enough product because the whole point is that you can get a perfect blonde first time. So plenty of color. Close up. My trick is not to close the foils in. If you have them all closed up, it can get a little bit warm sometimes. Allowing the air to just have that sort of circulation is really, really good. So here's a trick if you're working with very coarse, very dark, thick hair. Still with the back-to-back -back foil technique, still taking fine sections, still leaving the color off the scalp, like so, still plenty of product. But all you're going to do is to comb that through. It's just another way of pushing the product into the hair. You will notice as well that what I'm doing is not creating this very clean line where I'm applying the color. What you're going to do is just to create a slight zigzag. The reason is when you come to put the scalp application on, if you have this slight sort of zigzag motion, it's much easier for the two colors to blend and knot together, giving you that kind of seamless finish from scalp to ends. Much harder for a color to blend together if this is already kind of taking and lifting up on a straight, strong line. Another trick is, again, if you have that very, very dark hair, the hair that you're gonna to have to use a lot of foils and lots of product, again, making sure that you leave the sides open is one good trick. But another trick is every sort of few foils you do is to add a little strip of cotton wool. Now what that does is again, it creates a kind of air passage so that you're allowing the air to run through. So now we are on the last section of this quarter. It's important to remember that I would never, never start at the front. I'd always do the back two quarters first. And there's reasons to that. One, it's tidier and cleaner, but the most important reason is a technical reason. And that's if the back section becomes ready, then it's very easy to rinse that off before the front section. So now we've finished. I'm imagining that this is a level six. So I'm gonna allow this to lift for 30 minutes before I then mix up fresh color and exactly the same color that I have in the foils. But now I'm gonna mix it with 9%. This is always 12% because we need all that lift before the deposit of pigment. But the roots, that small root area, one is very new, two, it's very close to the scalp. So you're getting the extra benefit of the warmth from the scalp. So I don't need 12%. I'm gonna go straight in with 9%, which will still give me all the lift that I have through here and it still allows all the deposit of the pigment as well. So now we have lifted this for 30 minutes. We are gonna go in and do all the roots. I'm applying plenty of color onto the scalp and pushing it into the foils. I can already see that that's lifting beautifully and creating that slight zigzag line means you can see the colors knitting and lifting together. So we go through one by one, and it's much easier and cleaner to start from the top, leaving this over and bringing them all over rather than starting underneath because what can sometimes happen is a color that you put on the hairline here will start to fall down, it's not good. Now after I've got this last hairline on, 
I will clip these foils up. Again, it's a way of keeping our clients comfortable because it means you, are, you won't get warm or too hot or uncomfortable around that area. So that's that technique finished. I hope you like that. Thank you. Mm -hmm.